it feels like part of you has died as well. The thought of not being able to cuddle or speak to them again, not being able to tell them anything. I just felt like I had lost my life as well. My husband is very helpful, very close, but I felt that there were certain things I couldn't tell him how I felt. I felt heartbroken, horrible, distraught. Why has it happened to me? Why now? Will I ever get through it? Will the future be better? It triggered my anxiety and brought back other losses in my life. I felt sad, angry, annoyed and just angry at the world. I felt like I didn't even want to carry on. So Cruise Bereavement Care is a national organisation, been around for over 50 years and we're a local branch of that national organisation. We cover the areas of Litchfield, Cannock and Tamworth and the surrounding villages. Around 60% of our clients come from GPs but then we have a, a helpline number which we ask them to phone and they leave an answer for a message and then one of our dedicated team of helpline specialists will contact them within 24 hours. We're very proud of the fact we've got 55 volunteers working with us. 45 of those are specially trained bereavement support volunteers. If you decide you want to train as a bereavement support volunteer, you have to undertake 60 hours of training. Last year, we saw 227 clients, of which 40 were children and young people. To be a supervisor or to work with children and young people, you have to take an additional qualification and we offer at least 15 hours of continued professional development uh, every year for them. Cruz provides support by telephone or face to face. The sort of support that helps a bereaved person is listening to their story and helping them to explore and understand the range of emotions they experience. We also try to help them gain meaning in their life after the death of a loved one. Men ask for support as well as women. Men can grieve in a different way. Sometimes that takes the form of a lot of anger. However, both men and women experience anger as an issue. If a client is suicidal or has more complex problems, we follow Crew's procedures. In the first instance, we would explain to the client that we think that they need some help and we would encourage them to actually go to their doctor. Often by actually explaining, although they're feeling like that now, it doesn't mean that they're going to feel like that forever. They're often very happy to follow the advice of going to the doctor. It costs £30,000 a year to run the charity and the main expenses are on travelling costs, training courses and literature. Uh, we have a, a wide range of supporting funding organisations from uh, uh, local parish councils, banks, shops, supermarkets and clinical commissioning groups. There are people who make uh, individual donations to crews and some cover the costs of such things like the helpline telephone. Increasingly, funders are requiring reports back on the way that the money is being spent, particularly if it's against specific objectives. Uh, we also have uh, a volunteer accountant who keeps a very close watch on the income and expenditure and he raises reports on a regular basis to keep us well informed. This year we've pioneered our first bereavement support group which has gone on over 10 weeks. To develop our work with children and young people we're working with our local hospice St Giles and one of the things we're focusing on is to going into schools to work with staff to help them support children through the bereavement process. One of the wider aspects of Cruise is not only to see clients on a one-to-one -one basis but to actually engage with the community, helping the community at large to support the bereaved. For me, being a volunteer is recognising that when people are at their greatest point of need, that uh, the opportunity to get someone near that you can talk to about your grief is really important. I find working with children um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, just to see a child's life turn round is very important. To enable them to cope day by day while they create a meaningful life for themselves is an honour and personally very satisfying. Working with young children and young people gives me a great deal of satisfaction. To watch their lives become transformed and watch them flower into something very purposeful and having a great understanding of death and bereavement and a great understanding of coping with their grief. 
it's, it's a privilege actually because someone's opening up to you they're sharing um, their feelings about their grief and your your role is to help draw near and support as they um, move through that grief journey um, so that is satisfying and, and to see them work towards uh, not a conclusion but at a point where they're feeling more um, content and, and more able to get on with life I think that is satisfying I used to be a very negative person. There's still a negative inside, but I turn more things into positive now. You think, I'm not the only one in this world that's lost somebody really close, that's going through the same feelings as me, that's hurt, that's upset, that's got this loss. The more you talk, the better it is. It has helped me control my grief, my anger and other emotions, prepared me for losses in the future. I know everyone faces losses, it's not just me. It's made me happier, I know how to react and cope with grief and loss. It was like a fresh start, a massive weight off my shoulders, 